Welcome. So I just want to do a quick little tutorial because what I'm going to do is for the rest of these videos is I am going to show you how to find how to one solve this quadratic equation or find the x-intercepts, the zeros if it was a function, the roots, however else we're going, however your problem is going to describe it, the process a lot of times is the same. So we could also have a function, you know, value. Um, actually, I'll just put it down below. We could also have the function be written like this. And it all oh, just kind of depends on what type of problem you're using. If they're asking to find the roots, uh, if you're asking to find the zeros, or if they're asking to find the x-intercept, the process, as I mentioned, is all going to be the same. And what that means is, is our output value, what we're looking for is our x-intercepts. We're looking for where the graph crosses. Now, we learned how to graph those and find them. But what if we're not going to be graphing? We know that the, the, at the x-intercept, our y value or our output value of a function is equal to 0. So now what we're going to practice doing is we're going to practice factoring this right side. So then what we can do is get this as a product all right, of factors. All right? And once we can get it into our factored form, so we're going to take our form and we're going to try to factor it. And once we can get it to a factored form, then we're going to apply the zero product property to solve, where we can set each factor equal to zero. So that's just going to be the kind of process. Uh, I'll show you about six examples coming up that you can just go and check out and see how you do. Thanks.